Hello everyone! In this video, we will get to know Yay Mail and Conditional Logic add-on from Yay Commerce. So let's just dive into it. But before moving on, please subscribe to our channel, put your thumbs up, and don't forget to enjoy the video. So this is Yay Mail's main dashboard, and in this part, we can see that the admins panel is hidden, which gives the users the opportunity to concentrate on Yay Mail dashboard and its tools better. Um, so let's first of all start with Yay Mail and understand what it offers, and then move on with the Yay Mail conditional logic uh, add-on. So in this sidebar, we can see the main tools and features that this um, uh, offers. And in this element section, we can see the basic, uh, general, WooCommerce, and blocks sections. And now let's explore them individually and understand what uh, this plugin and add-on offer. In this basic section, we can see that we can add logos, email adding, buttons, and let's try some of them out. For example, this logo, we have already one here. Um, I just wanted to show how easy it is to uh, add and remove. So it has the drag and drop functionality, which makes it easier for the users to, like it's just a couple of clicks away to add this and then I'm at it again. And also we can add buttons, for example, here and change the writing here. For example, let's say contact us and you should also insert your URL here. Uh, then we can add the title or social media icons, for example, Instagram, Facebook, or other social media platforms. Um, also the text list, and when we click here, um, we can add, simply edit it from here, and uh, we can see the formatting, plenty of them, everything you need. And then you can also add a video or an image. General section, you can see some general stuff. For example, if the picture and the text are too close, then you can add some space here, and you can also modify the paint, also uh, the color. You can also choose a divider between them or the columns. You want it to be one, two, three, or even four columns. In this WooCommerce part, we can see that. We can add shipping and billing addresses, we have them here, also order item, we have it here again, and it's like easy to add it, everything you need is here. Then, in this box, you can add featured products, simple offer, and banners. For example, when you add it, you can see it here, and again, you can uh, change it here, and choose the colors that you want. And that's uh, it from Gmail. Uh, it's very easy to customize and get the email letter that you want. And when you click here on preview, you can see it the way your recipients would see. You can also give desktop and mobile preview and see what changes you need to make better. To create our first conditional logic, let's at first create a coupon code. For this, we need to go back to our dashboard and from this marketing section, choose coupons. And then add coupon. And in this part, we are writing our coupon code, which let's say is follow for more. And then uh, we are choosing the discount type. Um, in our case, it is percentage uh, discount. So after choosing it, we, we should also choose the coupon amount, which let's say is 15%. And also we can choose an expiry date, but if we do not need that, then we can just simply click publish and then uh, go back to our email. Now that we are back here, we are simply um, uh, creating our coupon uh, block here. For this, we are adding the text and we are adding it here. Um, let's say thanks for being with us and then also uh, we're going to add the um, coupon code here add it. Block. At the uh, bottom, we can see um, 
that we can choose the conditional logic. When we add our conditional logic, we are choosing the minimum order total. And uh, let's say if our customer has done a, a purchase uh, that is over 500 euros, you can see our currency, um, then this uh, block will be, will be displayed for them. But if they are not, uh, for example, surpassing the 500 euros uh, benchmark, then this uh, block will simply not be displayed for them. For our next conditional logic, let's say it has something to do with the country our customers live in. So, uh, for example, we have a, an offline event and we want uh, this uh, description part display only for people who live in the US. For this, we create a, um, an offline event here. So, we are simply deleting this and pasting our event details here. So, it says living in the US. Don't forget to join us for our second store branch opening to get many gifts. So obviously this cannot be for the customers living abroad, so um, we are clicking on this and we are going down and in this add conditional logic part we choose display if uh, the billing country is uh, and we are choosing here uh, US because our event for only US citizens um, and people living in the US. Um, so let's choose US here. And now this block will be displayed only for those people whose billing address is the United States. And now let's create a conditional logic about the payment methods. So let's say we want to boost our online sales. And for this, we offer 15% discount for those people who purchase things online. So for this, we are creating a um, new block. We're adding a text and we are adding our offer here. Okay, so we're casting it. So get 15% off when buying online. So uh, now when we click on the block, we go down and in this add conditional logic part, we choose our um, um, conditional logic type. We are choosing payment uh, method. Uh, then we are choosing our uh, payment method type, we are choosing uh, cash and delivery. Um, so this block will only be played for those who uh, mentioned that they will pay cash and delivery. And for their next purchases, they most probably will do their uh, purchases online. That's it guys, I hope you liked the video. And if you have any other conditional logic ideas, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we will definitely test them out. Thank you, bye.